Alright guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is going to be a fresh unboxing of the all new Futaba 6K. This is their newest 6 channel digital stick style radio. Now I'm going to be using this for my new Voltage 500 3D quadcopter. Now you guys may remember that video. I'll have that linked up in the upper right hand corner right about now. And with that I wanted to put a good radio with it. Now of course I'm definitely known for my surface vehicles and in most of my surface vehicles I use this good, very good, uh, 4PX from Futaba. Love this radio, great system and just it's just nice to kind of come home so to speak for a radio for my new quadcopter. So with that we're going to unbox this thing, see what you get inside the box and this will be new to me because this is the first stick style radio that I have unboxed. So right here, go over some of the specs here. Um, 2.4 gigahertz, of course, these days it has to be um, backlit 128 by 64 LCD screen, 30 model memory. Good God, that's a lot of planes and quads. Um, vibrating alert system, glider mix function, multi-copter function, which is what I'm after. Um, S-Link, earphone jack, trainer, throttle cut, fail-safe, timer, the, the list just goes on and on on this radio. So pretty decent radio. This thing goes for about 200 bucks, give or take, depending on where you're shopping at. So right here, quick model number for you guys. I'll have this in the video description as well, but F-U-T-K 6100. So great systems from Futaba. Got to say that it I'm a huge fan of not only their radio system, but also their servos uh, with their new S-Bus servos. So if you didn't know about S-Bus, that basically links multiple servos just with one lead, which is pretty nice. So, um, you know, in the um, airplane and helicopter world, S-Bus is probably pretty huge. So this one has S-Bus 2, so that's their newest version right there. But let's get this thing unboxed, see what you get inside. Now, of course, I won't need any knives or spider codes or anything for this because it's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to pull everything out here. And immediately, we're seeing a huge manual. Set this off to the side here. Uh, but right here, I love Futaba's manuals. They are very descriptive. Um, it's really nice to have a hard copy of the manual and, and not having to, you know, hope for a cell signal to... Uh, try and get to what is the problem and figure it out. It's nice to have this just in your pit bag ready to go. So I believe there's going to be an owner reference card right here, probably for registration of the warranty, but really nice um, features in this and really, really known for uh, great manuals. So right here, let's go ahead and start unpackaging this thing. And there we go. So there's a look at it inside of the styrofoam. And being new to uh, anything non-surface related, I'm really getting used to these things. So um, bear with me as I kind of learn, you know, with this. Um, right here is the receiver R306SB. Looks to be two antennas coming off, which is definitely new for me in uh, the surface world. And it looks like you have um, seven plugs here. So you have S bus two, S bus, and then one through five right there for the uh, ports. High voltage, I believe, is what that stands for. So this is a TFHSS receiver and pretty much your standard size receiver. So uh, pretty nice, very thin uh, mounting. All right, we get a official lanyard cord, which is new to me as well. I don't use uh, any kind of neck strap or lanyard for my radios, um, being just a, a, a gun style radio or whatever they're calling these things these days. But, uh, you know, nice that they're including that in the package. And then right here we get some extra little items here. This is a, a switch with some receiver leads. Very nice. And then it looks like we have a tool here for probably setting some of the uh, trims or whatnot on this radio. So nice to have this handy as well. That's it. As far as the extras, let's pull this radio out and see what you got. And once again, I am definitely not the expert in anything air, but... Wanted to unbox this thing and maybe one of you uh, surface guys are looking to get into some of these new quadcopters and multi-rotors and we won't call them drones anymore. I've learned that as well. 
So, but nice radio here. This thing is, is pretty large. I mean, it has a nice handle up here, I would assume. Um, it will stand up on its own, which is nice. Um, so my other radios, they have features where they will stand down like this or, of course, sit up. Uh, you always want to have a, a good platform for them to sit on. So right here we have the LCD um, screen, pretty large screen, actually. So um, it is protected right now with a little kind of thin layer of plastic. We do have um, all of the uh, the sticks right here. Oh, very nice. These actually have a aluminum type of handle on them. Not that I've seen on any of the inexpensive copters that I've um, ran, but very nice. Um, uh, God, just a grip on it is so nice. Looks like we have different toggles up here, up on the very top, up here in the corners. We have some sort of dial right here as well. All sorts of switches and whatnot, T4, T3, T2, T1, plus, minus, and then we have Futaba's famous kind of um, uh, uh, cursor button right here, which is kind of what I call it, end button, and then let's go on the rear side here. Um, we do have a um, receiver lead right here. We have another plug that I'm not sure about, the phono jack or for headphones, and then, of course, for four double A's right there and of course you can probably rig into some kind of lipo or lifey battery to go in there but I'm going to save all the technical stuff for me learning this and reading the manual and I will be back here hopefully with some running footage of that voltage 500 3d quadcopter I can't wait to uh, get that thing going and show you guys what this thing can do with this new Futaba T6K I guess is the official term for it well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little unboxing here of the 6K remote from Futaba. I've definitely liked unboxing it, and I can't wait to get this thing going. So, well, guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please post them on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.